Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the group by function works. The group by function allows you to perform data aggregations using a single formula. Group by is lightweight, automatically updated, and can depend on the result of other calculations. Simply combine the function with other functions to create a percentage breakdown in seconds. Okay, let's jump right into the action. First, we want to show how easy to create a sales report by location. Type group by and add the first argument. Highlight the location column and don't forget to include the column header. The second argument is values. In the example, we use the sales column that contains numeric values. The third argument is the function. Group by can use 16 different functions as an argument. So it does not need to use lambda to perform various calculations. In this case, we use sum. Press enter, and you'll get a pivot style report. The function transforms the location column into a unique list. And create the sum of sales by location. Try to use the percentage of function to create a breakdown. Replace the sum function and press enter. The result looks great. If you want to use headers in your report, use the fourth argument. These refer to the headers in the data set. No headers mean it does not have headers. Yes but don't show means there are headers but you do not want to show them. No but generate uses an old pivot table style. In the case of yes and show, we have headers here and totals. The next argument is the total depth. Use zero if you don't want to show the total row. Use one to show grand totals. The next option is the show grand totals and subtotals. If you have more than one category, you can use it, like this example. Modify the formula and add a second category. Now, you can use two to show the grand totals and subtotals. To show the grand totals at the top, use minus 1. To show the grand totals and subtotals at the top, use minus 2. The sixth argument is the sort order. In the example, we have two columns in the output array. To sort the range based on the values in ascending order, type 2. To apply a sort in ascending order based on column 1, type 1. To sort data in descending order in column 2, type minus 2. To apply a sort in descending order in the first column, type minus 1. The last argument is the filter array. You can filter the result using logical expressions to decide which record to exclude. If you want to exclude Texas in the location column, simply use this expression. Select the location column and use the not equal operator. Here is the filtered result. Thanks for being with us today. For the latest Excel tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.